Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy Lukasiak. Do you like my very husky voice today? So here's the deal. I'm a little bit sick. I've been sick for a minute. I have no voice, been coughing a ton. And I woke up the other day with my eyes all puffy and my nose puffy. I don't know if I hit myself while I was sleeping. I have no idea, but I'm very unfortunate right now. But I wanted to keep on my role of posting YouTube content for you because you guys loved last week's video with Chloe. So if you missed that video, make sure you go back and check it out. Chloe and I went down memory lane. We checked out old dance mom costumes, just old dance costumes, and it's a good time. And I loved having Chloe here with me. So maybe I need to do a video soon with Clara, but capturing Clara on camera is kind of like getting a picture of Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster because she like hates it and escapes all the time. So we'll see what we can do, but I do have something very fun for next week's video that I know a lot of you have been waiting for. I know I have been waiting to share this, so I am really excited for that video. Today's video is, I think, part four or five, I don't even know where I'm at, of a really fun series that you guys absolutely love, and that is me reacting to Dance Mom TikTok. So, Kelly and I, God, that really sounded like a certain dance teacher. We have a podcast where each week we go back, we recap an old Dance Moms episode, and we give you like all the tea behind the scenes. And so we also have a Patreon where people can subscribe, they get all this bonus content. And on that Patreon, I asked for people to send me their favorite Dance Mom TikTok. So if you are a Patreon subscriber, Thank you for your help. I have all kinds of fun things to share here. And I have to say, I haven't watched any of these. I'm gonna react in real time. I hope there's nothing like super scandalous. I'm just saying. Someone who lives in Pittsburgh posted this on the Dance Mom subreddit. We are excited to announce that the Clean Out crew and Bill Anderson Auctioneers LLC has been selected to handle the clean out and auction of the contents of Abby Lee Miller's Penn Hills, Pennsylvania studio. Okay, that's a lot of work, I'm just saying. I've been to the garage, the studio's 50 times worse. Auctioning things out when she sold it of her own accord, like it wasn't foreclosed on or anything. I'm not going to pretend to know about, <laughs> you know, selling I don't property. Know I got no idea. I don't know. But like, damn, do I have to drive down to Pennsylvania and go bid on things? And Christy Lukasiak, if you do not get your ass over there and bid on Jill and Kendall's bench, someone else is going to, <laughs> but I think it should be yours. <laughs> Okay, I can neither confirm nor deny if I have intentions of bidding on that bench. Let's just say there could be a possibility that bench may end up in New Orleans. I'm just saying, it would be like all of these worlds colliding, the New Orleans fight, the bench. I mean, it would just be like a dance mom's fan's dream situation, right? Hello. Hello. Girl, hurry up, you're already eight minutes late for class. Eight minutes. Then drive to my house, pick her up, Abby. That's not the way it works. <laughs> Nobody ever has the week off. Favorite. Favorite. Don't slam my door. I'll slam whatever I want. <laughs> She's that is my favorite Kelly line of all time. It really is. Everyone likes like stop eating. That's why you're fat and get your finger out of my face. I'll slam whatever I want. Lives rent free in my head. Clara told me I'm never allowed to say that phrase. I'm sorry. It does. It lives rent free in my head. That is my favorite Kelly line of all time. Oh, watch what Christy says. Okay. <laughs> I did not remember saying that. Oh my God. I did hate those pants. I can't lie. I can't lie. This is my daughter, Chloe. She's 15 years old. Yes, I am. <laughs> Daughter Chloe, who is nine. Yes, I am. <laughs> Aw, that's a cute one. <laughs> my heart, my little glow. She's still sweet, but she was even just 15 there. Okay, that's amazing. And I just want to point out that Kelly had several coffee cups in that clip. So if anybody listens to the podcast, you know about our whole coffee cup thing and how Kelly always just had hers on camera and mine was always like behind the steps. So Kelly, shout out to you for just owning having that coffee cup and you, somebody using it in a TikTok. That's amazing. And on top of 
Okay, wait, I just have to say, I know someone who stole someone's dog recently. It was very, it wasn't even low-key crazy, it was high-key crazy. It was insane, they stole their dog. I'm not even making that up. She used to be a dance mom at the studio, she just wasn't on TV. Isn't that like, what does that tell you about the kind of people we attract there? Don't you think that's a little dark? If you don't like it, hey! Wait! <laughs> has me dead just saying that humming is genius oh yes yes own it that's actually hilarious because literally we should always all be ashamed and then we win and she's like you didn't deserve to win I didn't think you won you weren't a winner in my eyes we just couldn't win <laughs> Look how bad about that. I'm supposed to be the person, he's supposed to be her rock, and I fall apart. Do you have one from when we did My Hair Looks Fierce? When Holly said, let me check my purse to see if I have an afro, I was sitting next to her. I literally almost fell on the floor. One of the best reactions I've ever witnessed in real life, I'm just saying. I was like, let me just pull out my purse. Hey, girls out the room. Enough is enough. If you want to fix someone up and you're so much like a miss fix it, fix yourself. Look in the mirror. Start the woman in the mirror and leave my Holly, little MJ reference in there. Start with the man in the mirror. Start with the woman in the mirror. I hear you. Leave my kid alone. I am a proud mama. You are a monstrosity of evil. That's your problem, Abby. You are Love monstrosity evil. That's a great one. Intimidated by me because in your skin. You know what? I grew up in the Bronx, New York. I'm good. She did not come to her okay. studio. But that is not me. She did not work. I can see by the size of the air. Hush your Mouth. Ooh. You are awesome. And you know what? We gave you a lot of praise and credit. And that's what you give us? I don't want credit for this team. You're a coward. I never saw anything that happened when I wasn't on the show because I didn't watch it. Kelly and I are going to recap like episodes that we weren't in. I can't wait to see this episode because Holly just got a little fierce. I don't want credit for those feet. I'm going to zip it because I would say things that would probably get me in trouble. What is he? Why can't you just admit Abby just gave your kid a solo? There's just no one else here. She didn't get the empty chair. Empty chair, do a solo. Empty chair, do a solo, dead. You were kicked out because she wasn't good enough. No bitch, I left. It was hysterical to see Jill trying to get like all hood rat. Shut your big mouth and I'll tell you who started it. Shut the blank up. And Black Patsy's all like, that is true. What, did he just hike up in his tube top? His Jill tube top? Did Jill do that on camera? I need to go back in with my like spy glass and check that out. I love when people are us. Like that is my favorite type of TikTok. So if you have great TikToks where people are us, please send those to me because those are my favorite to react to. I was in the middle of doing Nia's routine this week. Jump higher, you fat cunt! When I realized I was spending more than five minutes teaching her her damn solo. Accurate. Nia, you are just not picking up this choreography quick enough. I'm gonna need to replace you with someone else. You're just kind of a piece of garbage. As soon as I realized that Nia couldn't learn her solo, yes, bitch. Please stop with the sunglasses. I literally cannot. Okay, wait, what's the name of her solo? Play Queen in Time. I thought, what a great opportunity for my little Kendall to learn this fabulous number. <laughs> Abby, I'm telling you this right now, because this solo does not have to go to waste. Kendall K can do whatever you need her to do in order for her to be at the top of that pyramid. Okay, fine. Kendall can do it. I cannot believe that Jill just went down there and let Abby take away a solo from one child and just give it off to another. I don't know why all of the other moms are so upset. This is a great opportunity for my child that I took. This is a little bit of comedic genius. First of all, those sunglasses look like the kind you wear after you get like the eye drops at the doctor's office. So that is amazing. Yes, bitch, slay queen. Did we do that on Dance Moms? Because we could have. I'm just saying. Girls, get in here. 
Last week we got sixth place at Sheer Talent. Her moms think we lost because I made you portray teen moms and individually birthed Mackenzie in a Grand Plié. But I think it's because Nia's arabesque looked like me at 2 a.m. reaching for the Tums at the top of my medicine cabinet. Stop. Maddie, you have a solo this week entitled Diamond in the Rough. It is a beautiful lyrical routine about a child during the Great Depression oh. who develops tuberculosis. I think I have Paul, tuberculosis. We're going head to head against Maddie this week with a solo called Shake My Butt. <laughs> it's gonna be choreographed by your mom since I'm sure she has experience in that department. Look, I could. I'm just saying. The only kind of dance I used to do was on a bar. Kendall, the person who did this last video, I did a whole YouTube video about reacting to her stuff. She is literally brilliant. At some point in my life, I'm gonna get out to LA and she and I are gonna do like, I don't know, we're gonna do something together because her take on all of the dance moms is so spot on. She's like a comedic genius. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was at the top of the pyramid for you. Leave me a comment below if you wanna see more of me reacting to dance on TikTok videos. And also, if you have a TikTok that you want me to react to, leave it in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow, subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications, all of the things so that I can continue to create this high quality, supreme content for you. And I will see you back here next week. Goodbye.